it makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs> Um, then in other news, guys, and um, this is that Ireland has joined the bottom two in the Europe for its standards around combating human trafficking. Um, so Ireland is now in the bottom two of the ranking for our standards in human trafficking, um, and this is alongside Romania. Um, this is absolutely a ridiculous position to be for, for Ireland. Um, and you have to, again, look at Operation Terror and some of the, mo the money that's been spent by the HSE and their, their campaigns and, and all of this waste. And meanwhile, human trafficking has gone on, under the radar. What in the name of God? Who wants to be trafficked as humans? Like, do you know what I mean? Who wants to be involved in that trade? I, I don't think it's done voluntarily. Like, no, no one wants to be exploited, you know? Nobody. Uh, how many people want to, to go and get some... Um, uh, MDMA when they're they're going to the festivals. Um, do you know, <laughs> I see a lot of hands up there in the audience as well, guys. Do you know, we we are um, willing and uh, consenting in in our uh, engagement in our crime. Do you know, where the the state are spending millions, hundreds of millions of euros every bloody year in ta tackling, and meanwhile there, there's human trafficking going on out there, and we're on the bottom two in in all of Europe. Um, for our, our standards and combating it that that's appalling that is absolutely appalling um do you know obviously some of that is to be in the bottom too like but this this says a lot like in our approach to this um i believe it was in our our lowest uh sorry no i'm just looking up the stats here from this uh, just skipping through a lot of text from it um but this was uh, an annual trafficking in person report uh, that regarded at, as the and it's regarded as the most comprehensive appraisal of global efforts to combat combat human trafficking, and it ranks Ireland as one of the two weakest European states alongside Romania, and it ranks Ireland as a tier two watchlist state, um, the third lowest of four rankings. Um, as such states do not meet minimum standards and their estimated number of victims of severe forms of trafficking. No, severe forms of trafficking. Um, and they're, they're, they're quite specific in that, like stating that um, is very significant or is significantly increasing and the country is not taking proportional concrete actions. And again, what, what was reported in the media there it, it, not too long ago is, as a big thing cannabis they were all oh, cannabis 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 and then frank fien coming out here and talking about a health led approach where's the health led approach for the people who were who who were enslaved in the production of cannabis across uh, ireland and the uk frank you know what i mean um sorry bud but like it's it's just absent isn't it like and there, there's no real avenue of protection there for them unfortunately because if they go to you as the cops like out quite often or not you're just like no you were growing cannabis man well, we're going to do you for that instead like you know uh, and when you catch them for it then as well, that's how you treat them too. Um, it, it, that's horrible. Eh? Um, some of the recommendations that the guys have uh, have made, the assessment made in relation to the, or sorry, um, Ah, yeah. Among its 17 detailed recommendations are that the Gardaí and the courts vigor vigorously investigate and prosecute suspects and convict traffickers, improve victim identification, and I think that's a primary one here for Ireland, um, and uh, referral systems, and properly enforce amended rules for the working scheme for non-EEA fisheries, uh, sea fisheries. Um, so I don't know what the story is there, but the sea fisheries, I'd say maybe there's a lot of stuff going on there um, in the background, exploiting people from um, overseas. Um, but some of the more common um, nations found where people are uh, trafficked from are Africa, Asia, Eastern Europe and South America also. Um, you look at it like we, we just put 321 guards on full time um, duty for drugs. How many did we apply for? Um, how many did we apply for human trafficking? Joe? <laughs> zero? Uh, do you know? A big fat zero, I would say. In, in, you know? I, I, I would say it's, it's close, as close to zero anyway. Um, it's much closer to zero than it is to 321 anyway, I'd say. That's for sure. Um... While there have been some positive efforts, including an appointment of the commissioner, uh, 
a commission as rapporteur, and in recent weeks, the first trafficking conviction since 2013. The first trafficking conviction since 2013. The reality today is that Ireland continues to fall below minimum standards compared to other developed nations. And that's a statement from the Department of Justice who said that they were disappointed that Ireland remained on the Tier 2 watch list despite significant advancements over the past 12 months in a measure to combat human trafficking and support victims. That's because Ireland has actually been twice now in a row at this ranking. It's not the first year that we've been at this ranking. It's our second year in a row being at such a low ranking um, for our approach to human trafficking. And again, you look at Operation Terra, 321 guards on full-time duty in, in order that. Like, where was every announcement of, like, fucking 300 guards being appointed to go out there and try to find victims of human trafficking? This is just not there, like, is it, like? Sorry, like. <clears throat> and again, as I say, like, how many people want to be trafficked? How many people want to be exploited? Zero, I would imagine. How many people want to buy a bag of cannabis? All of you? What? All of you? Jeez. <laughs> uh, sick, man. It's a sick society we have. And we as taxpayers, guys, we're paying for this. And we, we have to stand up and speak up and call for a change. like Because without it, we're not going to see it. And again, shout out to Rudy. Rudy got in it and now uh, supported the show there a few minutes ago. And I just want to pop it back up it says uh friday five or nice one for that rudy um what's the crack with this citizens assembly rudy is asking um i actually had a phone call earlier with the citizens assembly i was inquiring about um the process for an ngo to be able to apply and um make a presentation to the citizens assembly um and they didn't have any information to uh provide on an upcoming a citizens assembly as that's down to the uh to the government i suppose to put together and to call a date on um, so they weren't able to give information there but uh, as soon as I have an update on the Citizens Assembly and a date has been announced I'll certainly be making an announcement on the 420 News and on across all of the social media platforms as well um, because I do think that's an important thing to be able to bring attention to and uh, hopefully to be able to get uh, many of the organisations out there um, that uh, support the legalisation and the decriminalisation of drug users um, to be able to make a presentation too as well. So yeah, um, nice one again Rudy for supporting the show. Um, also Mistawa says, uh, end the corruption, <laughs> and that was about a half an hour ago, sorry about that Mistawa, um, just caught, catching up in that one there as well, so I'll pop it back up on screen, go on you legend Mistawa, nice one. Oh, it makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs> <laughs>